What is Silver Maple Forest for someone who'd never heard of it before? <laughs> All right. So uh, Silver Maple Forest is a small growth of silver maple trees in mostly in Belmont and also partially in Cambridge, uh, right on the edge of the Illinois Reservation. And uh, it's currently slated for development, unfortunately, and so we are trying to protect it and preserve it for forever. It acts as a very uh, important flood storage area. Um, it's also important because of the wildlife habitat that it provides and it's a great recreational uh, opportunity and educational opportunity for all the surrounding communities. So we organized an all-day action event where we had banners addressing our political leaders, asking them to preserve the forest and to commit public funds to purchasing the development rights. And we had a great turnout, you know, lots of people came out, it was a lot of fun. And it was a very positive and, and you know, peaceful way for us to let our wishes be known. very important that we preserve our wilderness and especially now in the age of climate change we cannot afford to lose any more trees and wetland areas that protect us from the kind of rain that we're getting for example today. The silver maple forest is important because a tree is a great vertical water storage and if you tear down the forest and build a building you reduce the water storage and you eliminated a big area of, of uh, the land being able to soak the water. So it's way worse and you're losing wildlife. The Alwife Reservation and the Belmont Upland Silver Maple Forest is critical to save for Belmont Upland and Cambridge now because it's a major floodplain of this region and it's also a uh, a wildlife refuge. We've had, uh, my organization has had it assessed, and it's an amazing, important area, and it's very crowded, densely populated urban Boston metropolis. It, it cannot be cut down, and it, we're hoping people will take it seriously enough to stay active and involved. We all need to stand firm and do what we can to protect the forest and keep it standing. And what, um, what should be done either by the government or by individuals in order to preserve the forest. Right, so what we have to do is basically buy back the development rights so that we can preserve it and add it to the reservation and uh, you know we have we have enough money in our in our cities and towns to do that we just need to create the political will and, and convince our political leaders that it's worth spending the money on speaking out, coming to our actions uh, sending letters to your city councilors or selectmen, um, speaking with them in person, you know, and just letting them know that you feel strongly that we should preserve this forest. I'm here with some very young constituents because we love the maple, so the maple forest and we want to protect it. We want to protect it for future generations, but also want to protect it now because it's an important resource for all of us. It helps with stormwater flooding. It's a natural habitat. There's, there are foxes in there and mink and lots of birds and pretty plants and trees. And um, so I'm working together with a group of people that really want to preserve this forest for Emma or David forever. Okay, so this poem is very long, but for the sake of this, we're just going to do the end, and it's still long. <laughs> but trees are long, so they deserve a lot. <laughs> so um, it goes, We're the silver maples talking in the breeze. We're the silver maples talking in the breeze. We have songs to sing. 